Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Um, so, I, so I took a week off uploading on YouTube. I really think about whether I wanted to carry on or not. And I said I would update you how I was feeling and what was going to happen. So I really, really thought about it and took everything into consideration. And you know what? I'm just gonna carry on doing what I'm doing. Why I needed this break is there's a minority of people who just don't like me. I like to regularly tell me they don't like me from the way I say certain words to the way I look, the way I talk with my hands, the way my hands look, to my home, to my children. There's a lot they like to tell me. One person in particular on my Instagram account would screenshot certain things this website where they hang out, I'm guessing, they would screenshot certain things what this website was saying. And this is, and they would subtitle it by saying, this is what we truly think of you, Friday Finds. And then the other one was, because I say like, I totally recommend this, or I say, oh, this is so tasty and awesome. It really annoyed them that I was saying that all the time. And win-win was another one. And then it would be a screenshot again of that from the website and saying, can't you think of any other words, Friday Finds. And the list went on. So I cancelled, I blocked, I deleted even, I deleted, I blocked and then it would come back again with a different profile, name, etc. And this went on for months. Um, well, it has been going on for months. But last week was the one which really upset me it was they screenshotted on the website, they screenshotted my daughter in a wheelchair and then my daughter doing the water park. Um, I made the reference that she needed a wheelchair to get the front line of the characters and then they'd sent me a screenshot of that of that picture that image and put in fake ads or something on those lines like fake ads daughter doesn't need a wheelchair um it doesn't need doesn't need a wheelchair fake ads um she can clearly walk so why does she need a wheelchair fake kind of thing and what got me about that is i don't really need to explain myself anyone who really knows who's got a bit of common sense behind them would know that a child or a person who's got complex medical conditions it's not just as there's a lot to it just to touch on it for a small moment in time is grace can walk she does ballet she does gymnastics she does a lot of after school clubs what she did before all this lockdown she's encouraged every day to walk um, and the only time she needs to a wheelchair is when she's on a long distance so for instance Disneyland Paris prior to that we went to Blackpool Illuminations where you don't need to queue up for anything but she needed a wheelchair because we're going to be there for a long period of time when we go to the Yorkshire Wildlife Park in Doncaster she needs her wheelchair because sometimes she finds it a struggle um, to walk around there so she may not necessarily have it she'll just may sit in it for a while just to get a breath and then she'll carry on walking but it's just there for for when she needs it so she doesn't just need it for disneyland paris she needs it for an array of things when she's going on school trips she'll need it there's many aspects when she needs her wheelchair she didn't just start off with a wheelchair she started off with a, a, like a push chair and then she progressed when she got older to a wheelchair and that's it grace has one leg longer than the other and then she has built up medical boots which she's encouraged every day to wear and she wore these straight from four years old to seven years old um, without fail um, but since she's got older she doesn't really want to wear these medical boots and there is a question mark about having splints so she can wear like her leggings and not see them so yeah and the one thing I don't show or document or talk about is when Grace goes walking um, for a short period of time or anything like that she's severely out of breath because she's had pneumonia bronchiolitis and aspiration pneumonia more than nine times in her life um, one of them she was needing her breathing was taken was taken over for her um, we've been in a medical room where we don't know where the next 24 hours is going to be so before you make really quick assumptions like that just just know that and this is not just for grace this is for like other people if you've ever made those quick assumptions there's a lot going on in the background which people may not show you so grace's lungs are completely shot um, having all those respirational problems 
and stuff like that which require inhalers she does find walking a struggle um some days and some days she finds it okay but the after effects is awful she has chronic pains in her legs she has cramps she needs massages and stuff like that um she's encouraged to do ballet ballet was spoke about from her physio because it would help her with her joints and her muscle tone um, and help with her core balance so when you've got one leg bigger than the other you're going to be a bit to not have a good balance basically whereas ballet is really strengthened her core and um, really help and with ballet it's helped her be able to ride a bike which has been amazing because she just couldn't grasp the balance of a bike grace has never stopped doing things which another child is encouraged to do so for instance swimming uh, running around with her friends playing in playgrounds and um, living life to the full she's done it all I don't ever want her disability to stop her from doing anything but yes there is a consequence afterwards she is it really does take it out of her so yes she had a wheelchair in there and yes she went and did a water park and she absolutely enjoyed it but afterwards she was sock on asleep and then she woke up crying because her legs were in so much pain so yes i only show the really nice sides to it why would i want to show you my daughter in absolute pain i'm not going to um and i think a lot of it is my fault that i have documented bits and clips from grace's condition to show awareness of feeding tubes um, but the downside to that is you've some people have made a quick assumption and got it incorrectly what i found really disturbing most of all is some put someone taking a screenshot of a child and putting it onto one of these hate sites that's what i didn't like out of everything make your quick assumptions i've had it we've had it as a as a family we've had grace in a out and about going how can you smile when your child's dying of cancer we've had how can why is grace so yellow is it because she needs a kidney transplant we've had it all or don't put her in a push chair you're just a lazy parent because she can walk she can walk we've had it we've had oh how can you how can you how can you bring her out with that tube up her nose it turns my stomach we've had everything you know so having assumptions like that doesn't bother me because a person who or like when you're in a restaurant and you're having to connect her to a feeding pump and you can hear that oh, i don't really want to see that while i'm eating you know but how else am i going to feed my child that's just how my child feeds we've had it you know but what really disturbed me was having my daughter's face on a hate site it's just it was just mind-boggling and i was thinking that's why I need to just to not do anything like even if I didn't do it it doesn't change people if they want to hate on me then call but what I can do is control what I put out on here so for instance and going forward my children will never be put onto my youtube channel now that is a decision I've made um I just don't want them on here at all um my instagram account I have really been really thorough with it so um i had nearly 2000 subscribers on it and now i'm at 1700 because i went through all my my instagram and i got rid of people who didn't have a profile picture and even if you are a very innocent person i had to just one way of protect myself or people who have never never had any contact with me i've got like got rid it's just one way of to protect who follows me on instagram and now my instagram account is um request to follow so then i know who is following my channel um because on my instagram because i do occasionally on my instagram will put my children on because um i know who follows exactly who follows on my on my instagram because i can clearly see who is following whereas my youtube channel anyone can see my children so i am not putting them on here i needed time to think and i just want to make it clear that anyone who has ads on their channel does make some revenue this is another question this is another hate thing what came up on 
what came up and I just want to clear it up. Any channel who has ads does make a small profit of the revenue. Um, we get paid every month, but we have to hit a certain quarter to get that amount of money. Some months I make it, some months I don't. But I'm not going to say it's not nice to have. Why I did this, and I keep going on about it because I think that small amount of people think you do this to make money. No. I did this because I wanted to document my weight loss journey from going from a size 24 over 16 stone to where I am today. I wanted to document the journey of my confidence, the way I looked, the way I saw life and just to document my life and at the time I wanted to record my children and vlog it and little holidays and take you along with me um, and I've really enjoyed it. And I'm not going to make those videos private or anything like that, they're there on my channel, people have seen them but going forward there'll be none of that. I'll still make them but they will be private for our family to enjoy and watch. So that's why I needed to take the week off. If you want to hate on me, you're probably here already and I've probably really said something which has already upset you. I can't change who I am and I'm not going to. It says more about you as a person who wants to hate on someone who literally watches me to be nasty, then you do that. Now I can never go back onto that website because my internet's blocked it. You can block certain websites and that website is blocked because after all that and the last one I went on that website and it is a mind blowing how many people slag other people off for how they look, how they say things. It, it was mind boggling and it's not just like slimming wilders, it's like people I follow on YouTube and it's just a whole different world and wow and it could come quite addictive for people to look on it and see what they're actually saying about you but then it messes with your head um, and it really messed with my head when I literally went on the website after I got all these screenshots through and I just don't need it. So if you're here to dislike my video then dislike it. If you want to waste your precious time watching me then I'm quite thankful of, the, of that because I'd rather what I'd rather watch something which gives me enjoyment what makes me happy and something which I relate to not something which bores you um, makes you unhappy it, you find me quite pathetic just don't watch me but you're going to anyway Here we go I can't stop you you go to you stick to your side of the internet and I'll stick to this side of the internet um, because there's a there's a lot more people who support me and cheer me on than there is the amount of people who hate on me so that's why I took the week off um, to really think about it that's why so going forward let's talk about something a little bit happier so going forward my weight loss journey so last week you can just imagine um, I'm an emotional eater anyway, I eat when I'm happy, I eat when I'm sad kind of thing. Um, so last week I just, I didn't even think about it. Um, the kids went back to school, like the kids literally, Grace went back early um, but Max had um, gone back to high school and that's just a different kettle of fish isn't it? Like, just wow um but he's really really enjoying it but it was really weird to walk back into the house and it'd be completely empty and it's not been like that for for many many months and i didn't like it i, I felt really weird i miss the kids talking or arguing or bickering um, and i really missed it and it, it took me quite a few days to get used to it both the kids are settled in school the, both the kids school are doing amazing with all the covid regulations and stuff like that um and max has settled in fantastically in his new school which is just it's just amazing so i started back work tuesday which was yesterday and oh the relief the routine like just the routine back and being a bit back to where we were prior to like covid lockdowns and all that it just felt really nice to get dressed into normal clothes kind of thing and um, wear makeup and go to work and then pick the kids up and well pick Grace up kind of thing and I just really enjoyed it and also it's really helped with having a routine back so 
Um, I'm not following Slimming World, I'm still doing calorie counting um, and so this morning I've had breakfast, I've had a 100 calorie snack, I've had my evening, I've had my lunch which is around 200, 250 calories kind of thing, then I've had afternoon snack and then I've had an evening meal and then later on tonight I'll have my evening snack with um, a water. I'm still really um, increasing my water intake and reducing my coffee, my black coffee intake as much as possible. Um, I won't be doing any more weigh-in updates on a Wednesday that will move to a Thursday so it's more in line when I go, officially go back to Slimming World groups. Mine's not currently open as of yet so you'll see my weight what it is next week so whatever it'll be I'll document it. I won't know if I've if I'm gained or whatever but I will look back at my last official weigh-in video where you could see the numbers or I talk about the numbers kind of thing and then we'll see what I've gained lost whatever you want to call it and then going forward hopefully we'll see a loss the week after. What I'm really aiming for is a massive maintain in 2020 so I'm really wanting to a I'm really wanting to aim for and maintain. So whatever I started this year, which was 12 stone five to end at 12 stone five, I think that was the best outcome for me after the year I've had. Um, if I can get down to my 12, I will be over the moon, but I'm aiming for 12 stone five, that's my goal. And this time three years ago was the day I stepped through the Slimming World doors to start my weight loss journey to, to lose the weight to get to a place where I felt happy in my own skin. Um, so from September to December, I lost two stones. So I know I've got it in me. Um, when I'm determined and I'm, I'm really wanting it, then I know I can do it. But we're not in like normal situations are where things can, things can get in our way at this moment in time, emotions and government policies changing and being a bit like, you just don't know what to do kind of thing. Um, but I'm really aiming for that, really aiming for 12 stone five for my 12 stone. My, my major goal is 12 stone. That's like my massive goal. I'd love to be. But if I can aim for 12 stone five, then I know that I would have I've had a, a, a good year in my weight. Um, so that's what I'm aiming for. So I know I can do it. Um, it's just having that willpower to do it. But I know I'm just I'm just going to do it. Let's just think positive. Let's go out and smash it. So that's it really. I hope you've had a great week, whatever um, plan you follow. And as always, sending huge positive thoughts. See you soon. Bye.